Greetings to you all. Uh, let's see if we are recording. Yes, we are on. So, uh, I hope you are all having a great Easter. You are staying indoors so that we can curb the spread of this virus. And, and uh, everything is good. You are learning how to trade. You are using our lessons and everything that we are providing for you to create a better financial status for yourself as time goes on so uh right now i'll be tackling this question because i sometimes get uh, questions from my students on uh when is the best time to risk more and when is the best time to risk less so basically i always i always advise people to use proper risk management but then since we are different and our level of experience and knowledge differs in the trading world. Uh, our risk appetite will be different. And I believe that there's a time for risking less and there's a time for risking more. So let me talk about my personal strategies, my personal approach towards trading when I will risk more. So this is what we're having today. This is the withdrawal. This is the current balance. So let me start off with what I use, the skills that I use. I have about five i use five strategies these are my own self-created so uh i have two technical strategies and also a fundamental three fundamental strategies so from the technical strategies uh i will use price action okay before i get into that i use more confirmation as an act of confidence, the more your strategies confirm to a particular uh, signal, whether it's a buy or a sell, the more the strategies confirm that this is indeed a sell, the more the confidence. The more the confidence, the more the risk. So the more the risk will equal the more the lot size in relation to your overall account size. But then always remember, risk money which you are willing to lose or you are not actually willing which you can afford to lose if you cannot afford to lose ten thousand dollars don't trade ten thousand dollars if you cannot afford to lose a hundred thousand dollars don't trade a hundred thousand dollars if you cannot afford to lose ten dollars don't trade ten dollars always risk what you can afford to lose so back to the strategies my two technical strategies include price action and the lesson on sessions which i gave to everyone then my three fundamental strategies include also price action the geopolitical factors lesson and something called economic indicators that's why sometimes you'll hear me talking about nfp and mentioning our leading economic indicators saying that nfp should rise or should fall so right now let's just look at uh Euro JPY. Euro JPY told you I have uh, five strategies. So if four out of five say that this is a sell, then the confidence grows to that level of four out of five and also the lot size grows to that four out of five. If it's three out of five, then just like that. If it's two out of five, just like if it's five out of five, then trust me, I'm going with everything I got. I'm going in with everything that I have. So right now, if I look at Euro JPY, my price section might have told me that we are heading towards an area. Uh, we have a verified resistance there. It has been tested, then price came and tested it again. Then it should go down. Then remember with geopolitical factors, we also know that JPY, uh, something JPY or XXX JPY is usually... Uh, going to sell because GPY should be strong. Then when uh, I read, you also have to read. When I read, you find out that uh, Italy, the death rate is increasing. Uh, the Spanish princess has died due to coronavirus. Uh, the German mayor or something committed suicide because of the pressure. All those things. So Euro as a whole, Euro as a whole, its GDP is contracting a contraction of gdp means we should be experiencing a sell-off we should be experiencing a sell-off on uh, the euro 
So given that JPY is a safe haven currency, you will find that it, it's the one which moves the most. So right now I have given you confirmation from both my technical and fundamental strategies. So hence I'm using these kind of lot sizes in relation to my account size. Then we also have, uh, let's say, USDJPY. Same stuff. So this is just the re-entry. Th this is the main entry right here. This is the main entry. Same stuff. Same stuff. We have an area of verified resistance. Uh, then uh, some sort of double top. I'm not going to go into much detail. But then my price action is telling me something. Then my uh, both my technical and fundamental fundamental price action are telling me something then my economic indicators are also telling me something then geopolitical factors is the last nail in the coffin then i go all out so that's where we uh, say you can risk more or you risk less it just depends sometimes it depends on your feeling uh Okay, in feeling, let's just see. Okay, let me not <laughs> ramble too much. So this is uh, the USDCHF trade. But then I think my message, I think I got to get my message across. So it just depends on your strategies, the strategies that you use. If you have more confirmation, you have more confidence. If your strategy is working 100% or more than 90% of the time, the accuracy is 90% plus, why not? And then if it's the money which you can afford to lose, why not? So uh, it's something which uh, the big boys play with. You know, it's something which the big boys play with. They don't play around with 0 0.01 and, and all that. They go in with massive lot sizes because they believe in the strategy. It's been tested, it's been proven. So take the risk. They take the risk on money which they can afford to lose. So it's just a matter. It boils down to risk appetite and also your knowledge and also experience. Remember, you have to gain a certain level of knowledge and experience. You don't just fall into trading then just want to drive in a Ferrari the next day. So, yeah, that's it. Which also got me thinking, let me just do a lesson on economic indicators and also the employment changes and all that. So, in the next videos, you'll find the lesson.